Well, you're watching the Red Dragon Darts Champion of Champions finals day held at Depot Cardiff. And it was filmed over August bank holiday weekend. Great match here. Another last one, two, five, six first round contest between Clive Burgess, who's just won the ball, and Kelvin O'Keefe. Burgess and O'Keefe have both won matches, uh, not only just won matches, they've won events to qualify for this. Burgess qualified from the Umbrella and O'Keefe, well he qualified from the Cambrian Sports Bar. And both have found a treble to kick us off here. That'll always settle down the players as they look to try and find their rhythm quite early on. That's another, that's a lovely visit. Oh, I thought that was worth more there. Burgess in again. So both players here, remember, they're guaranteed £25 and they're both wearing the Red Dragon Darts uh, shirts, which they've uh, been given as they enter the venue. They're really nice, aren't they, I have to say. Uh, so quite a lot of the field have chosen to wear those today to mark their achievements for qualifying for this really big event lots of players try and qualify for this John Davey who I interviewed earlier well he went to 10 events in order to try and get through this um, that's just how much it means to be in this particular tournament close affair this it is O'Keefe who's oh no sorry I thought that was a 60 it isn't so just one point between them after four visits, this is a good setup. You feel for Burgess, so leaves 96. So O'Keefe can only try and apply the pressure here. He's just on the wire. That's a lovely second dart. So he leaves 80. Good, steady few visits for these two. 76. It can still be done. It's a good find from Burgess and he gets double and you can see the fist bump it's so important to take an opportunity if it presents itself at a double in such a short brutal format all these games are best of three legs remember it it evokes the news of the world format that was so popular from well the 1940s through to uh, 70s and 80s it's great to resurrect that Keith will be disappointed with that first visit. That's a loose one from Burgess, but he does adjust. Plays a lot of his darts in the west of England. And uh, does play for the west of England county team, I think, if my research is correct. Yes, all these games you're seeing here are from board 16. I had hoped to bring a few more, but we can't bring the matches of Martin Lukeman. And Martin Lukeman, of course, is a PDC tour guide holder. There are filming restrictions with PDC players. So he is actually in the next round and awaits the winner of these two. There's a nice ton for O'Keefe. Desperately needed as Burgess is applying the pressure. Finds the treble 20 with his last dart. It's probably one treble ahead of O'Keefe here. And there's another ton. So, Kelvin keeping himself in this, but Burgess is it's got a very steady, methodical throw. Again, I just jinxed him there, didn't I, as I said that, but uh, he does get down to a finish first. Keep looking to leave himself handily placed there's another ton so scoring well and leaves himself 100 well we saw James Woods take out 100 earlier on this board and Burgess will apply the pressure with that visit leaves himself a two dot combination this 100 may need to go tops tops well it's the sensible route to go but he missed the board entirely so suddenly now Burgess We'll have match darts in coming. Well, he should he should be having a match dart now, but he missed the board. Bit of pressure there, perhaps. Needs to adjust. And I think that hit the outer ring. 
to reprieve for O'Keefe. He scored very well here. You feel he does deserve this opportunity. So double top to keep himself alive. That's a long way off. Needs to adjust. Does move over the board. Head in his hands. Knows how frustrating it is. Needs Burgess to miss again. And Burgess doesn't miss. And he takes it out. 19 dart leg there to get over the line. Clive Burgess books his place into the last 1-8, into the second round, and O'Keefe will go into the plate competition.